and it's put out by the North Dakota Geological Survey. And what it does is it explains the different rock layers as you go down in depth. Our rock formation in three forks are, in this area, they're about 10,000 feet deep. Now, in between this rock, the upper shale, and the lower shale, is the middle lock -in. And the middle lock -in varies in the lithology, the different type of rock. It goes from a sandstone, silkstone, dolomite, limestone, but this is the kind of rock that we are targeting in our horizontal laterals. As we continue to drill this and get better at the way we drill the laterals and the way we complete them with the fracking or the fracture stimulation, we are now making these wells economic. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of steps. A lot of hurdles to uh, get development going on here inside Fort Worth Lady Reservation. So uh, uh, we want to make sure that uh, there's some type of consistency here. I don't care what business you're in. If that's your production curve or your sales curve, that's a good curve to have. And uh, we continue to see that going up. And, and part of that technology. That... The schedule for tonight is for all of you to eat as much as you possibly can. We And what would you expect to see when you look through there? Uh, what we're expecting to see, or hoping to see anyways, um, is signs of oil. We're looking for porosity, we're looking for permeability, and we're also looking for oil staining itself and possibly oil. I work for Enbridge Pipelines, North Dakota. Okay, and what are you guys doing here today? We are just spreading the goodwill, giving away some prizes, educating people a little bit about um, pipeline safety and what Enbridge does here in North Dakota. Tell me what you guys have today. We have some crab dip. Okay. We have some caramel grapes. Okay. We have some hot wings. Okay. Coconut shrimp. And pillage shrimp. Watermelon. What do you got going here? Fried alligator. Gotta have some that spicy. This over here's ribs. You want a chunk of that? Tell me what you got here. We got boneless beef ribs and the best beans in the Bakken. This would be the container of the best beans in the Bakken, as you can clearly see. What do you think of all this? Great opportunity for landowners, oil companies, government agencies. To network, yeah. Uh, to get put a face to the oil company you sign a lease with, yeah. Uh, and some of the people that uh, the Bureau of Indian Affairs is uh, directly working with. The excitement of the, the oil boom, yeah. as the people say, that it's going to bring uh, a lot of promise and a lot of potential, not only to this this tribe but this whole area. How, how about the food? You had a chance to oh, sample out of the food? It's great. <laughs> yeah. But you have favorite so far? Uh, well, I, I've heard there's some alligator here, and alligator meat, and some whale, which I haven't tried yet. Yeah. So, uh, Governor, what brings you here today? Well, this is the North Dakota Petroleum Council Cook Fest. Yeah. So all the oil companies are out here with their team of chefs, and they are making the greatest food you can possibly imagine. Focus on barbecuing, 
great sauces, great food. If you like meat, like you know, steak, if you like beans, if you like shrimp, they, I mean, they have just all this great stuff that they're making on the grill. And uh, everybody's invited. I, I gotta be careful, but I tell you, I've had, I've had some beans, best beans in the Bakken, okay. with jalapeno. I've had some uh, barbecued steak. I've had some coconut shrimp and some shrimp with cocktail sauce. Uh, I'll tell you, everything's been fantastic. Just Five sites. What are you serving today? We've got some sausage here and some ribs, beans, pork loin. We're on the cob. Chicken and potato salad. Wow. And it's going fast. I'll bet. <laughs> yeah, I noticed you've had a line out here. Has that been most of the day, huh? Uh, yeah, this is about the shortest it's been, really. Oh, all right. Yeah. And uh, who do you think is going to win the uh, vote tonight? Oh, I'm hoping now. Majority vote? Yeah. The shrimp? Yeah. The shrimp was good. And yours? My daddy's making soup over there. It's made fasoli. What's the dog's name? Monster. Monster. Hey, Monster, how's the food? <laughs> and I wanted to welcome everybody. You know, uh, I'm always glad to see the governor here. Uh, with that, I'm going to read a letter here that the uh, chairman had left. Uh, Governor Hoven, I'd like to extend the gratitude and appreciation to you and your legal counsel, Ryan Bernstein, for your assistance in our joint effort to improve North Dakota highways 22, 23, and 73. First, uh, how about a, also a big thank you to uh, Scott Eagle and uh, the entire Tribal Council, Chairman Marcus Lettings, for uh, hosting this event as well. Please, round of applause. That just gives you an example of the kind of investment that these companies here are making. And so I mentioned EOG as an example, but to all you companies, a huge thank you for doing business in our state. We appreciate you doing business in North Dakota. Look at the chef still got his apron on. There were no hanging chads, it was a clean win. Bye. 